you keep bringing up ESPN flagship, and I do wonder, and again, I know you're not going to talk price, but why, why have that anymore? If I, as a sports consumer, have access to this joint venture, and let's say I'm paying 45 bucks, why am I going to spend another 30 on an ESPN over-the-top product? I don't quite understand the, the pro, the, what that is for the Well, consumer. first of all, we haven't gotten specific about how the pricing will work. I think you have to assume that if someone is already buying the, the joint venture product, right, they're that, not gonna have to that will take in, be taken into account if someone wants to buy so-called flagship. Uh, what we're trying to do is basically serve sports fans in multiple ways. If sports fans want, who are not part of current multi-channel bundles already, or were and, and basically canceled their subscriptions, that's certainly one way to serve them. If they're not interested in that and they just want ESPN, and by the way, what ESPN so-called flagship service will have is, will be significantly more than what the ESPN component of the joint venture will be. If they like that, they'll be able to get that too. And what we're trying to do is serve sports fans in multiple ways and create real convenience too. Which so you don't see it as a, you don't see it as a, a reason not to do an ESPN over the top flagship product, as you describe it, which I think you've talked about potentially as soon as 2025 hitting the market. Correct. The existence of this JV. Do you have a name for this JV yet? No. Have you got any ideas? <laughs> yeah, please. You have a name? We have a, we have a suggestion box you here. You got a suggestion box? Uh -huh. <laughs> but you see them being able to exist both, because we talk so often about when you would take ESPN eventually over the top, and I just I still do find myself wondering, well, with the existence of this product, does it make it less... Uh, um, less of a need. Look, ESPN over the top, again, is going to have multiple features to it. There'll yeah. be fantasy sports. There'll be the opportunity to bet on sports basically right off the app. Uh, there'll be significantly more, I'll call it consumer engagement, interaction, interactive capabilities. So it's not the same thing. And again, right. what ESPN is trying to do is serve the sports fan in multiple ways.